So how can you tell me you're lonely? And you say for you that the sun don't shine. So let me take you by hand and lead you through the streets of London. I'll show you something to make a change your mind. Lovely. Well, everything I write about is based on either my own experience or somebody else's that I know. And um, certainly the business of being out on your own and uh, away from home is, is an experience I know about because I deliberately did it when I was young. I felt that I had to do it in order to have some sort of meet to the stuff I wanted to write about and so like traveling around hitchhiking and living in Paris and working on on the building sites around London which um, gave me the idea from for the song from Claire to here so again based on experience yeah. as you get as you get older that it gets harder and harder to motivate yourself to get back on the road you know and if you're away from it for too long you miss it as well so you're hooked you're addicted really I think it's fair to say that you've always had a very special relationship with this country. Circumstances seem to draw you here again and again. Yes, it goes back a long way. I mean, if I, I'd like an opportunity to say why. I think I've just written a song. It's not the one I'm going to play, but I've written a song which perhaps goes away to explain it. When I was very small, like lots of kids my age, I grew up without a dad uh, after the war. And there was a very kind man who lived upstairs, he was an Irishman, his name was Mr. Connaughton, and uh, he took a, an interest in my brother and me. And I think that's why my earliest recollections and associations with Ireland are very warm ones, because every time I heard an Irish accent even, I associated with that sort of friendship. And through the music, I met lots of uh, Irish musicians in England, and it was a natural process and finally coming over and working here. You know. Let's talk a bit about your latest single, Song for Ireland. Mm. It's unusual in that it's not one of your own compositions. Yeah, I mean, every now and then a song comes along which I was going to write. That's, what, that's the way I explain it, or that I wish I'd written. And uh, this uh, particular song, I first heard sung by a Scotsman in a folk club. And, come on, where do you get that beautiful song from? He told me that it was um, written by an Englishman called Phil Colclough, who lived over on the west of Ireland for a while. And he summed up in four, three or four magic verses uh, a lot of what I feel about Ireland. So I just had to go out and record it. Walking all the day, the tall towers were falcons building nests. Silver wing they fly, they know the call of freedom in their breast. Saw a black head against the sky where twisted rocks they run down to the sea. Living on your western shore So summer sunsets ask for more Stood by your Atlantic sea And sang a song for Ireland Dreaming in the night I see a land where Waking in your door, I hear you crying in the morning light. Lying where the falcons fly, they twist and turn, all in your air blue sky. Living on your western shore, so summer sunsets ask for more. Stood by your Atlantic sea and sang a song for Ireland. Drinking in the day in old pubs where fiddlers love to play. I saw one touch the bow, you know, he played a real bad scene. So grand and gay. I stood on Dingle Beach and cast in the wild for we 
we found Atlantic bass And living on your western shore So summer sunsets asked for more Stood by your Atlantic sea And sang a song for us 